thing that comes to my mind is the Gargoyles cartoon. I see that people. I see your mom. I'm so devastated. I'm in love with Tyrone. Erwin, Gullen, Greenwood. Gandalf, not Gandalf, hiding behind a rock. Cause he's rock. They can't call this hunk of love, big tall man, not Shaquille O'Neal. Gandalf. Because, because copyright. Another reason why copyright sucks, your mom. You know, this is breaking news. This is just a homeless guy from San Francisco. How dare you, you take our jobs. You, you robot lizard creaser. Ah, uh, Miss Pelosi, no white. I don't know if I should eat the apple a day, keep the Gandalf away. No, somebody took the apple from Gandalf. It's this girl. Now, is this girl actually the Hobbit, or is it somebody else? It was somebody else. It's, it's the tall person. I, I think you're Sauron, and not Gandalf. God damn it. I'm like some kind of weird creaser from the future or from the current times. This is how we want everybody to be. You like my bullies? Sauron the Great, bring me to the dark side of the force of Star Wars. I'm gonna go crush the smash and like button. So they they say a bunch of things. You have no idea that uh, they, uh, there's no subtitles. I guess you don't need subtitles because at the end of the of the gibberish. The, all the gibberish, it's like, what you hear is, the lady, the lady says, Sauron. Sauron. And then they, and then they all bow. They might as well say Aladdin. They might as well say Mom. I'm not Sauron, you really. Snowflake, uh, speaking of, fast forward past intro now where is this i don't know this girl's like riding a horse from brazil to canada it's like crazy i mean i don't know like thousands of miles and and sauron not doing so good and she loves sauron and she may already know that he's sauron but she's like seductive seducted as seen in the hobbit movies when she's like fighting sauron it's like it's almost like she wanted something, or she was in love, or maybe she wasn't in love in, in the Hobbit movies, as you've seen. I don't know. Guy in the blue looks like uh, one of the Hobbits in Lord of the Ring. Um, like the one that had the ring uh, for a long time, that was also in the Hobbit. Ryan Seacrest and Clay Aiken had a baby on American Idol, and they gave birth to a healthy baby. It was, it was this little big tall elf in the in the green did i say blue they'll be coming around the mountain and here they are now two elves stuck to each other like how are you here how are you here and then there's sauron on the sick bed now's your opportunity to kill sauron once and for all brother i don't know if i can trust you because well quite frankly you're a man one of the problems this show has is what I hear is isolated from what I see. I'm hearing like isolated text, sound bites. It's like they're delivering lines, quotes. And it's like I'm hearing it, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. Like some of it is kind of good, kind of interesting. You're curious about the story. I think a lot of people would be, especially fans of Lord of the Rings, the books, the movies, and everything. And it's like, there's something there. This is obviously, there's a story, because there's a lot of books. The problem is execution. It goes beyond the Star Wars prequel comparison, where people always like to talk about. You know, people talk about that. They bring up the prequels of Star Wars as an conversation starter and as a and an, and an example of a bad trilogy of movies and it's like it's it's true there's problems i would say this is the even worse than anything you would ever imagine not that it, it isn't interesting at all to 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 be fair as a story the people are interesting, the actors are interesting, and there's some live at, at moments. The problem is the overall guide, the the overall um, direction that all of it's going 
and there's some subtle things going on in the background and some larger things coming in every once in a while that you may notice and people talk about it in their the spoiler reviews and you know in their videos in the articles like all kinds of people are doing it regardless of your political ideas whether you're on the right or left or what have you it's like there are people talking about it people on the right to people on the left people in the center people everywhere else too politically and culturally and, and religiously and everything else like people talk about it and they criticize it it's not something like oh it's the alt-right criticizing some movies and shows and everything from Hollywood asking for boycotts it's like you got people from the left you got people from the right you got people all over politically who will say whatever they think about these things and, and more and it's like you gotta keep a, keep mind open keep your mind open to what is actually happening if you don't know if you're new to all this and you're like what in the world why are people doing this why do people make videos and talk about how they don't like Lord of the Rings and Disney Star Wars and and Star Trek and and all these superhero movies and other shows and other movies and other things and it's like we don't want to we don't want to criticize too much we don't want to be unfair but sometimes things are so bad that you gotta do it we gotta do everything we can do Sauron's looking for his girlfriend he can't find he used to be on his on his bed Sauron's talking to him and telling him how to how to do mining and welding and 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 combining compounds it's science moving at the speed of science please don't delete my video youtube susie susan hey sweet boy don't delete my video because i said moving at the speed of science i'm worse actually i'm actually uh, uh, quoting somebody. Anyways, I'm not gonna talk about that because I don't want this video removed like all the other videos that get removed. Over 7,000 videos they take from me still for me. I don't like it. And I fell asleep in this conversation, so it's like maybe I don't like this conversation either where they're talking back and forth and stuff and he's trying to help him, the older guy, he's trying to help the older guy how to do his job so he hands the guy a ring. I don't know if it's the ring of power or what. Do they already have the rings of power? Hey, look at that tower. It reminds me of the, uh, what do you call it, tower in Washington, D.C. Ow. Why is this old guy with a big long beard talking forever? I don't know. I feel like I thought I was horny and now I'm not. Because I just feel like I'm just going to die as a young girl. Somebody's drawn like an Indian man. But this girl is... Devastated with my nose. Oh, this reminds me of Zordon in the Power Rangers movie from 95. He's, he's on his bed, his death bed. He's the king, like Zordon of the Rangers. Ooh, ah, almost sounds like movie, uh, music. Music from uh, Phantom's Phantom. Phantom Menace, when they're fighting Darth Maul. -da 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 -da, a lot of sh chanting. This is probably the crystal ball that we see in Lord of the Rings and the Hobbits. We're looking at it, and that's how they, they were like, Sauron was finding some of them in Lord of the Rings with the crystal ball. This has to be the crystal ball. Arr. Hope never meet. I forgot my own counsel. Here he is looking at Sauron, doing his thing with the other the other people. Um, the other people, and they're making stuff, um, welding and stuff, and it kind of looks like she knows. Yo, Sauron, I've been looking for you for 600 years. I mean, many, many centuries. So many centuries. I need information about bloodlines. Oh, I'm sorry. That stuff is so limiting. Go, my boy, you gotta go find stuff for me. And don't tell anyone. Don't be afraid. Sauron will show you the way. What? 
the dragon. You heard what I said. You don't have to be afraid of me. I got my eye on you. What? Big eye on you? In the sky. Butterfly in the sky. I got a big eye in the sky. I just can't believe something like this is happening. A person like me working with these people. Thank you, girl, for saving my life. Oh, it's you have mine. Our skills are balanced. Uh, girl, you believed in me. What? Girl, you were able to help me give my 110%. Oh my god, kiss me, Sauron. Kiss me. Do not worry, my master. Master, pretty. I sound like, um, Gomer. No, it was the green guy that was going after the ring. Smeagol. Smeagol. It's like, this girl's talking like, talking like that. And she's like, ooh, eventually you're gonna get your strength back and you're gonna remember just like Jason Bourne. So they're like, uh, we, we, we came here to help you and uh, bring you in. But why would Shaura not know? Do these people honestly believe that Sauron would not know stuff? Like he would forget who he was? I mean, it's like, that's what happened in Gandalf. That, that didn't happen to Sauron, right? This is the part where he gets indoctrinated into some kind of cult. I think he started a dust devil. No, it's impossible. I don't like sin. I can't be Darth Vader. I can't be Sauron. Just take a look. It's in a book. It's a hobbit. I found Sauron. I mean, Gandalf. And those weird, gay, tall angels. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles too. Secret of the Ooze. They had to go find his brother. Their brother, Ralph. Wait, was it Ralph? He got kidnapped. One of the turtles got kidnapped. The other turtles had to go and find the other turtle. It's kind of like the first one, but a little bit different. This is what's happening right now. Little hobbits. Not hobbits. Hobbits. These hobbits. Are finding Gandalf. I'm gonna untie him. And they're gonna run off. Well, the big weirdos are off doing God knows what. Hi, I'm Hobbit Skywalker. I'm here to rescue you, big hunk of loo. Rescue me. I'm like, Jesus on the cross. Yeah, Jesus. I gotta save you. I'm a woman. No, you killed Kenny. I mean, the black guy. So scared. Shocked out of my mind. You have awakened. You awakened me. Wow. And he attacks. His own disciples. Wait, not his disciples. Holy cow. Oh, you got my friend. Oh, look at me. I'm Harry Potter. Wait a minute. Does that mean Gandalf kills these guys? Don't do it, Gandalf. And, and he's not Sauron. Okay. Apparently. Oh. <laughs> from the shadows you came. And from the shadows you shall return. <laughs> Bow. And then that's how they get stuck in the... The Shadow Realm. Sounds like another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! It's Harry Potter Gandalf zapping people into the Shadow Realms where they belong. Oh no, I'm stuck in the Shadow Realm. This is like Hocus Pocus. You, 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 zap, you zapped us into to the Shadow Realm at the end of the second movie. Smile alert. How dare you? You know, they look really ugly. Perhaps they were really, really old and they just looked pretty on the outside. Boom, Zagalaka. Oh, yeah. Gandalf says, I'm good. As he's like destroying those weirdos. I knew the whole time you were good. That's why I believed in you. Even though I ran away a few times, but I always came back with an apple. Grandpa Black Guy, no, you can't go off trail. Oh, it's all right. And one of those weirdos turned to, turned to do a butterfly. Anyways, I gotta go read a book. Go off trail. Turn into a frog. Wait, why can't Gandalf heal me? Nah, never mind. Wait a minute, where did Gandalf go? What, he went away? Let's not help us anymore. What's he doing now? You got something better to do? Oh wait, he's still here. There are nine stairs steps and four lights in Star Trek Picard. Hey man, you can talk to me like that one more time. I'm gonna hang you, dude. Cause I'm a girl. You're a man. You can't talk to anybody cause you suck. But I got great hair and you know you like it. 
Stop it, dude. And I, I cannot be attracted. That'd be racist. Come on. You know you wanna. You know you're attracted. Rather kiss a frog. Ooh. And maybe you will have to. Did you say? That's racist. You dare say my name and, f and, and frogs in the same sentence ever again. Just take my arm. Man, now everybody gonna know I'm blind. Where we at? Hi, I'm old guy. What a magical city. Hi, I'm old Clay Ankin. I got him. What are we doing? You gotta listen to me. So wrong. Look at me. The guy behind. This guy. That's right. You see me? With the lustrous hair. Let me tell you what we gotta do. Maybe we're trying too hard. We're making these precious metals. Maybe we gotta draw them. Make them want to come and join properties, metal properties, you know, science 101, chemistry. You know, it's like, instead of like trying so hard to like force them to come together, maybe we just gotta uh, inspire them. Oh my god, I'm so seducted to all this welding. Oh no, my girlfriend's gonna find out and steal my bike. And still my ring. Hey, you know what we found out? Too much power for one object. Do so we need two. Oh my god, you're making two crowns? Ah, oh, I think we're making rings. Rings of power. What? Did you say? You say something smaller than a crown? What could that be? Come on and see for yourself. Not until you tell me who you are. I'm Sauron, god damn it. What? You know, girl. You know who I am. No, 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 no. Who are you? Who are you? Who you really are? That's what I want to know. Stop the bullcrap. There's no king that's out. The line was broken a long time ago. The last king, the last man with the crest that you bear, died over a, a thousand years ago. And he had no heir. Right now they're having a, a back and forth. And he's like... You don't have to worry about me. And she's like, uh, I saved you, or you saved me, and, and you fought with me. And he's like, yeah, baby, yeah. And she's like, what? Oh my God, Annie, if you turn into Darth Vader, I'm going to be broken. I'm going to have two twins and then lose my will to live. I've been awake since the breaking of the first silence, or before the... Before that, yeah, that means I'm really old. Oh my god, Annie, you're breaking my heart. It's like I love you and I hate you because it's weird relationship with, with, with you. And then she, she tries to hit him, attack him, and he blocks. He's like, hey baby, don't try to get me. You know you like me. And you know, back Back in the day, back then, a long time ago, I had many names. I went by many names. Just like Oatmeal had many names. Think about all the names I had. Oatmeal, Mighty Mouse, maybe not Mighty Mouse. Wait a minute. Ugly Mouse, Thief of the Night, Tweety Bird, Cool Kid, Joko, Ghetto Joe, Bumbalo. Must that go on? Oh my god, you got a lot of magic for an old man that look like a young man. She falls to the ground and suddenly it's like she's somewhere else. Or is this where they were the whole time? So either somehow she appeared here. I don't know if Sauron did it or what. Maybe like somehow she's here. I don't know how she got here. But I think she's somewhere else. I don't know where she is right now. Perhaps Sauron um, zapped her unconscious somehow and then took her to the spot. Get out of my mind. No. Look at me, sister. No. I miss you. Ooh, my old dagger. Ah, you kept it safe for so long. Oh, yes, baby. I was haunted with the task. I mean, wait. What is it again? I'm like... I'm looking for Sauron. Wait, no. My task was to insert peace. Which is impossible, by the way. But I learned that was Sauron's 
destiny as well. What? Yeah. You see, girl. Sauron. Good. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. He a bad guy. No, no. No. He, he inserted peace to make sure everybody saved. Gotta wear a mask to be safe. That's what Sauron said. Everybody. Come wear a mask. Yeah, Sauron wants you to stick it in your body. Stick it in your body. If you don't want to stay alive, stick it in your arm. Stick it in your arm. Mango haze. Stick it in your arm, arm, arm. Hey, dude, you died. Oh, it's a price you have to pay for the greater good. That we died. I died. They died. A lot of people died. But for the, for the greater good. And I look like Clay Aiken if he got that Get out of my mind. This is, like, this is like one of those movies where they like, they go inside somebody's mind to make them do stuff. God, do you remember what I whispered to you? Under this very tree. Oh, don't say it. Dust the darkness one more time. <laughs> Dang, you're so seductive. Yeah, I'm more good looking than Emperor Palpatine in Star Wars. He was pretty good in hiding his true identity for the, for the Jedi. The Jedi didn't know he was the Dark Lord. Look at me, I'm like a Dark Lord. Sauron, my brother or my, my husband is dead because of you. Then he, she walks away. No, go back. But now she's like magically on a boat. It's all, actually, it's all in my head. You know who I am, Gladio. Girl, I'm not that bad. When, when my master died, I felt so good. And I was like, now I could help the world. Yeah, cause I'm so good, girl. I gotta, I gotta pay rep, rep, rep. Uh, what's the word again? Rep, reparations. That's right, reparations for all the bad I did with my monster. I might be Sauron, but it's like I'm gonna go around and do a bunch of good. I'm gonna undo all the bad stuff that I help my former master. And and no, you could never undo all the all the terrible stuff. Nah, you remember what you said? You said lie. Like, you talked about forgiveness and, and redemption. Remember that, girl? No. Girl, you remember? I said to you, I've done evil. But you didn't say you were so wrong. That's a, a whole nother kind of evil. Suddenly, they look at the shadows. The reflection from the water. And it looks like she's talking to Sauron. And, and you, know, you know, like, that's what Sauron looks like. Sort of. Oh no, I'm talking to Sauron. Everyone looks at you with doubt. I alone look at you with greatness. Join me and together we'll make the empire so great. So good. The greatest ever. Join me. No, it's impossible. Why are you so seductive? Why are you trying to pull me into your black hole? Hole. I'm being pulled into your black hole. Oh my God, get out of my hole! You wanna make me a dark lord? Wanna make you a tyrant? I'll make you a queen. Your offer is so seductive and so, like, yeah, I do wanna be a powerful queen. Girl, you complete me. You see. I wouldn't be a dark lord, not with you by my side. I need you. You complete me, girl. You know, with with you on my side, you you totally balance me out, and then I wouldn't be that bad. I need you, girl. Together, we can save this middle earth. Oh my god! You know, we're gonna have to make some love and make some babies first. Okay, get close. I will never be at your side. Nah, I know you wanna. I know you wanna. God, you gotta do this, girl. Otherwise, the shadow will take over the world. It's gonna be so dark. Oh my god. What's gonna happen when people find out that you're working with Sauron? This is the moment where Sauron's trying to blackmail her. You will 
die because of me. Now this part's a little weird, a little crazy, a little weak, a little, a little silly. It works. And there's moments in this episode that's pretty impactful, pretty well done. Like the interaction they're having the last five or ten minutes. It's pretty good. It's kind of like, reminds me of, of uh, Rick Grimes in The Walking Dead, the last episode. And how they said goodbye. Um, in the last episode that he did um, a few seasons ago when he exit the show. They almost killed off Rick Grimes. Spoiler, he didn't die. But um, it's like there was an, some kind of interaction between Rick and a bunch of other people. Like dead people. People that died before. Earlier in the show. In The Walking Dead. A show about zombies. And the interaction was pretty good. Pretty strong. Pretty interesting. And the intera- inter- you know the interaction here is pretty good. But then they start screaming. Which is somewhat okay. But it's really hard to do it correctly. Correctly. That's right. And... And then I don't think they are. Uh, they both start screaming and screaming and screaming louder and louder and louder. And then there's thunder and lightning. Then she's like thrown to the bottom of the water. And then she wakes up. From the, This guy got him up. And she's like holding her sword right at the stair. Now she's going crazy and she's like prove it that you are who you say you are. Because I just got mind fucked by Sauron. Did we first meet? Wait a minute. If you're inside my mind, then it's like you can just like figure it, figure out any question that I have. So it's like that's not gonna help. If you if you get inside my mind, which I think Sauron did that already. So her asking him questions that only she would know is totally pointless. Girl, we met a friend a long time ago, and you gave me a water that one time in that one place. Remember? Hey, okay. Uh, where's Sauron? Ah, uh, he almost failed with, with his stuff. Oh no, I got a Gordy. And then she runs off. Girl, you smell like river rock. What happened? You know, I had to pull her out. Oh my, what happened? You no, know, I gotta tell you something about help, Brand. He's Sauron. So what should we do now? They ask her. And she's like, We have to make three. Three what? Like, uh, I don't know. Well, they they haven't shown us yet, but I assume it has to be rings. Rings of power. And so it's like, it's like Sauron made two? And now he, now, okay, she wants, she wants one too. She's like, I want one too. For my birthday for Christmas. Give me, give me, give me a ring. Or maybe it will be three more. Maybe Sauron made two. And now she wants to make three. That would be a total of five. And so the guy, the one guy is like, the younger guy is like, why three? And she's like, one is too powerful. Two will divide. So three is a perfect balance. Like a, like a trinity. We gotta do this. We gotta have this three rings for the elves. For the elves alone. It's a perfect balance. Nobody else can have them. It's all for us. It's all for us. That's right. My present. What? You need gold and silver? The best of the best of the gold and silver in the world? That's right. You need to go to find them all. Yeah, okie dokie. I'll go there. You can count on me. Because I love power. That's why I'm going to help make some more rings of power. Because I'm very seductive to power, more than lust and love and all that kind of stuff. Because my husband's gone, I'm a widow. Hey, Gandalf, I know that you were wrong about your name. That's right, you know, maybe they're wrong about your name, because I know they are. You know your name's not Sauron, he's that other guy. Or, oh, they call me Istar. Oh, in your tongue, that means wise one. Wise one, I must be a wise one. A smarty pants. Boy, wait for it, and they they have a pause, a really really long pause. 
a wizard. <laughs> Help me, Potter. Um, okay, whatever you say. I don't know. What does that mean? It means nothing to me. I'm a hobbit. I don't care about our kind of stuff. So, you're really not coming with us, are you? Destiny hits us in the head from powers beyond. We could have our medicine. And sometimes we just gotta go off that path on a river that will never ever fade like Aladdin on a magic carpet ride. And sometimes you just can't get off the crazy train. And in those moments we gotta force our feet to take a heart to those places that will definitely tear us apart. Yeah, enough. Your talk of destiny bothers my mind. And I just can't figure it out. I try to figure it out. But I just can't. I just can't. I can't figure it out. You're big my heart. I'm a half foot. A half foot. Yes, I'm not a hobbit. I'm a half foot. I'm a hobbit. But I don't come a high. Hobbit. I don't, I'm not a hobbit. I don't call myself a hobbit, but I am a hobbit. It's, you know, it's because it did a long time ago. Before we, we call ourselves a hobbit, we didn't, we call ourselves halfwits. It's right. We, we didn't, we didn't call ourselves hobbit back then, back now. Right now, we don't do it. Maybe in a hundred years, maybe in a thousand years. Well, we'll, we'll make up a new word. Hobbit. Don't ask me why or how. The etymology. I don't know. I'm just a girl. Okay, if we record this one way, then we'll not be able to run into any trolls. Yeah. All these Hobbit people, they're like a parody of the Jewish people. Going on, going on hikes and offenses. They're like small tribes. Yeah, I mean, it could be any group. It doesn't have to be Jewish, but... Especially Jewish, and uh, and they're going over their routine, and she's reading off a list of don't do, don't you don't do this, don't do that, and then they're like, and nobody walks alone. Was you know, ironically, they they do do that sometimes. They walk alone. Guy looks at her and says, "You're part of something bigger now." So they're basically like disowning her. And, and saying, you gotta go off with this weird, tall, strange dude. Yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you up, Joseph, in your Technicolor dream coat. You're gonna get <laughs> sold into slavery. Wait, wait, better. Better than slavery. It's, it's a whole lot better than slavery. It's trafficking. Believe in me, black mom? Wait, why is my mom black? Why am I white? <laughs> so many questions. Nah. I, I don't care. I'm not gonna sit around and ask you all my questions about my identity, who I am, where I come from, who's my real mommy and daddy. Never mind. I'm a I'm a black foot. I mean I mean half foot. A half base <laughs> Hobbit. I'm gonna go off with the end off now. Thank you for disowning me. And there he is by that same tree. It's like the hobbits are they were literally just like sitting around for the last like I don't know how many how many days how many weeks who knows how long but they're literally just like sitting there uh, I guess I guess they had an excuse they had to rebuild after those weirdos were like burning down their their <laughs> their wagons it's like the Oregon trails if 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 the Oregon trail was blazed by hobbits and now they're all waving her goodbye as he goes on and some kind of weird adventure with Gandalf. Which is like, do they really need to do that? And it looks like Gandalf has a long history of like kidnapping <laughs> hobbits and running off with them. Gandalf, stop it. I can't, oh, I can't help myself. Gandalf, stop kidnapping so many, so many goddamn hobbits. I can't help myself out the door, or you'll say. This is the part where Frodo hugs Sam. Wait, sorry, wrong movie. Did you pack a lantern? Of course. So happy to get rid of you, girl. We have no reason to. This guy does not need any help. He's a powerful wizard. He can do this by himself. 
but we're gonna let our only son, I mean our only daughter, go off. <laughs> Sorry, for a minute I thought you were my son with long hair. <laughs> a hippie. <sighs> a rock concert fan, you know. It's like you're some kind of punk from the 1980s. No, you're a girl with long hair. Of course you are. Of course you are. But it's like, what am I supposed to do? Why am I sending my daughter off the wall? I mean, wait a minute. Equality. What is equality? Wait, I mean, to Gandalf. Why are we sending you to Gandalf? Never mind. We'll just do it. If I was invisible, I'd be a fly on your wall, and then I'd send you off to Gandalf. I out any help. Does that mean I'm going to marry Gandalf? Am I going to be his first wife? Finds whatever you gotta find where the river runs. Girl, daughter, my white daughter, and you have to find where the sparrow sing the song. Oh, I love it when you say all this stuff. Girl, we're so sorry for getting rid of you. We had to make room for a little sniff. Michael Buddy Mullins from the Means World Productions. That's right, there's a lot of reductions going on, a lot of seductions going on. A lot of production going on. We gotta get rid of you, girl. You go play with your little Gandalf. Play with your Gandalf. We're gonna play with little sniff of the memes world. Ba-da-da! Okay, mom, have fun with the memes world production. Link to the Discord server in the link. In the link. In the description of this video. My girl, stop making advertisements for people to click on stuff and go places to hang out with really cool beam masters, the best masters of the memes of the world. People don't want to do that. Uh, nobody like me, world production. Not even Oatmeal. Oatmeal of the Oatmeal 2. What happened to Oatmeal 1? God damn it. I'm never going to tell you. Okay, wait, Sam, gotta go. I'm gonna miss you. Too bad you can't go with me. Which you totally could, but you're not gonna you're not gonna come. Have a fun time, girl. Have a let go. Are you certain that you want to go with me and become my first wife? Yes, I wanna be your wife, Gandalf. I wanna give you a hundred babies and we shall rename you Zeus! We'll go to a place called Greece. You shall become a Greek god before men. People will bow down to you and give them, you, us, their first bones. <laughs> so much power. I'm kind of like a small person with a blonde girl who is hanging out with Sauron. Except I'm hanging out with the second best. Maybe the first best, I don't know. How do you compare to Sauron? Wait, Sauron became a little more powerful. Probably because of the super duper ring to rule all the other rings. Maybe that's how it worked. How he became more powerful than you, Gandalf. Anyways, we're gonna rename you Zeus. Right? You're gonna give birth to a bunch of people. And we're gonna go to another planet. That's right. I want to be an alien. I want to make the pyramid. Everybody's waving at you. Look around. I mean, look behind. You. Your whole village of hippies and gypsies are staring at you. I'm waving at you. Goodbye. Can't know. If I look behind me, I'll never be able to leave. You know, to leave would, would be a good adventure. But the die would have been awfully bigger. Adventure. That's right. That was a Peter Pan told me when I was a devil. And I was like, I'm a hobbit. I don't belong in Neverland. Then I left. I said, God damn it, Peter. Peter. You Peter. Peter file? <laughs> Peter file. I get it. Peter. Peter Pan. Peter file. Oh my God. It's so stupid. And I was like, get out of here. I'm leaving. I don't belong here. I ended the relationship. Ellen, girl. When in doubt, just follow you. Your nose like Winnie the Pooh. Okay. Okay, big old grandpa. Damn it, I'm Jesus. 
say so, whatever you say. Ah. Uh. For wherever you are. Walking off the hill into the distance, not so where to go and all. Falling my nose to a distance relations and I'm not even sure if I'll ever make it. Adding you to the distance into the darkness. It's gonna be alright cause I got a little hobby. She put her dagger in. I think it's her dagger. And then that's gonna be used to make something. <laughs> my heart, my soul, my mind was always in those daggers. And now they're melting like my face, my heart, my soul, my desires. But is it so hard to see it, see it explode it, turn it to lava, but it's like, I'm gonna do this for the greatness. I mean, for the, for, what am I saying? For the greater good. Oh, well, I, got, I, got, I guess I gotta drop this in too. I really love this thing, but I gotta drop it in. So I'm gonna drop it in. It looks like the eyes are on. And, uh, you know, it just so happens to look just like the Eye of Sauron. Or the Eye of a Dragon. And he drops it in, and it like, it's like a key. It starts to activate something. He goes into the river, he finds the scroll. I think this is the part where he finds out, Oh no, that guy Hellbrand. Oh, he's really Sauron. I feel so good about making these rings. <laughs> there are the three rings of power. Oh, there's a blue one, there's a red one, there's a crystal clear one. Holy cow! Holy Gandalf! Uh, don't be jealous! I'm just freckled. <laughs> are you sure this is what you want? Yeah! You know, I could have been doing this for the last, like, 700 years. Why wasn't I doing this? You know, I don't know, but the the world has a funny way of putting people together to get to do what they gotta do. You know, it's like destiny coming in, colliding into your, into your nugget. She, she saw that he's holding a scroll, and so she's thinking to herself, what do I do? What do I say? As the story goes, as seen in, in the first Lord of the Rings movie, some of the elves were corrupted by the rings. And so you start to see the process here a little bit. Alright, time to go home. Time to go to the volcano and secretly make the ring that will rule all the other rings. He's uh, wearing some kind of black robe or something. Kind of reminds me of, of Anakin Skywalker wearing a robe in Revenge of the Sith. Ironically, Revenge of the Sith has a great battle on a lava planet. Just like this. Look, Sauron and Darth Vader sitting in a tree on a lava planet. A hot lava planet. Ooh, ooh, I don't like sand. Oh, do you like lava? You want lava poured over your body? Ooh, what a volcano. What a pretty, pretty volcano. They're gonna love the way they look, I can't even see it.